ਸਤਿ ਸ਼੍ਰੀ ਅਕਾਲ ਆਈ ਐਮ ਚਰਨਜੀਤ ਸਿੰਘ ਚੰਦਰਪਾਲ ਆਮ ਅ ਪ੍ਰੈਕਟਿਸਿੰਗ ਐਡਵੋਕੇਟ ਐਂਡ ਆਈ ਟੇਕ ਅ ਲੋਟ ਆਫ ਇੰਟਰਸਟ ਐਂਡ ਡੂ ਅ ਡੀਪ ਸਟੱਡੀ ਆਫ ਰਿਲੀਜੀਅਨ ਅ ਲਿਟਲ ਬਿਟ ਅਬਾਊਟ ਮਾਈ ਸੈਲਫ ਵਿਚ ਆਈ ਵੁਡ ਲਾਈਕ ਟੂ ਟੈਲ ਯੂ ਆਲ ਸਤਿ ਸ਼੍ਰੀ ਅਕਾਲ ਜੈ ਮਾਤਾ ਦੀ ਆਈ ਵਾਸ ਬੋਰਨ ਅ ਹਿੰਦੂ ਐਸ ਚੰਦਰ ਕੁਮਾਰ ਗੇਹੀ and 98 due to a deep attachment to qurbani i got baptized after taking the amrit at the sri harmandir sahib and i was baptized into a khalsa with the name of charanjit singh chandrapal i'm a practicing advocate at the supreme court as well as at the bombay high court in 2004 what happened was i had to cut my hair but i continued doing a lot of gurbani research even thereafter there were some compelling circumstances where i had to give up my roop my appearance of a sikh for some time I was deeply attached as a child to a place known as ganesh puri where my kul guru swami nityanand samadhi is there in 2004 while i was asleep you may be amazed to note that it's coming from an educated person like me however i did get a very vivid dream of the goddess and the goddess appeared before me and it was the goddess of the mahalakshmi temple at mumbai and the next day i went and prayed over there and i could actually relate that the goddess his energy was very much existent and she was calling me it may sound really uh imaginary or fictitious to some people but giving myself a benefit of doubt i put this to test several times and the goddess does speak she does communicate after which i started doing a lot of research into what are demigods what is shiva who is shiva who is brahma who is vishnu who is the devi and what is the form of the devi and how is it that there are so many forms of the devi with guru granth sahib's reading which i did for about more than 9 or 10 times up till now in the past 22 to 23 years slowly and steadily i started reading the other scriptures also the hindu scriptures the islamic scriptures the bible i did qualify as an astrologer also and after that i came to a very very authentic correlation of all the studies in describing as to who is the devi today's session i would like to emphasize on what is devi who is devi and what is the actual meaning of devi and how do we get this form of the devi and the various forms of the devi I first of all beg pardon of all my Sikh brothers because in Sikhism we have to lay emphasis on Vaigruji the formless god however in my case repetitive occurrences and appearances of the devi before me cannot make me detached from that form of the almighty and that is the reason why i am sharing my scientific logical explanation about what the devi is when vaigruji akal purukh ji allah taala ishwar the unseen god in the hindu vedanta we call it the unseen god in islam we call it allah in sikhism we call it vaigruji and in christianity we call it god which is basically formless but god can take form Guru Granth Sahib says Sargun Nirgun Nirankar Sun Samadhi Aap Sargun Nirgun The Roop can be Sargun and the Roop can be Nirgun 
the roof can take form and it can be nirakar it can be formless god is necessarily formless but it can take form now without going into the sanskrit part which many of the people who are viewing this video may not understand and without going into the exact words of the gurbani i am explaining this to you in english after understanding about the concept of how the devi's form emerged it will set to rest a number of myths that people have about the form of the devi devi is necessarily one the forms are many i will tell you what had happened at the time of the creation when the lord almighty created this entire universe this solar system the planets the sun the moon the stars and everything which was created it was created with a energy and there was a big bang there is a big bang theory of creation and in that big bang a lot of energy was used and that energy if you would note is usually in an oval shape so all the creative forces are in the oval shape the solar the solar system is elliptical it's an oval shape the egg is elliptical the ovary eggs are elliptical everything is elliptical the shivling if you see the yoni is elliptical so what happened was when this energy this highly powerful energy created by the almighty created by ishwar created by vibhu created by allah created by god that gave birth to this entire creation and that force we call it the adi shakti the eternal vibhu strength the unseen god's strength of creation is known as adi shakti and from adi shakti emerged everything from adi shakti emerged various demi gods also and the first primal sources of the three demi gods which is known as the trinity the brahma the vishnu and mahesh they appeared from this force and in their creations feminine forces appeared as a result of adi shakti now these feminine forces had features brahma's feminine force counterpart is saraswati Vishnu's who is the sustainer the counterpart is Lakshmi and Shiva's counterpart was Parvati and the Durga and Sati now this adi shakti has basically 9 or 10 characters that's the reason we have we called it the dash vidya about the dash vidya and about the meaning of dash vidya maybe in some other chapter i will be able to express of what dash vidya is in great detail but for the moment we would confine ourselves to how the form of the devi has occurred devi is adi shakti adi shakti is actually a force in hindus we have the gayatri in greek we call it the gaya gaya is the adi shakti force that energy which created everything and that our brahmins personified into a form of a devi a female force and that's the reason why the female force is always given a feminine form because from the feminine form the creation occurs brahma's consort and the shiva and the female corresponding female force is saraswati vishnu kan female force is lakshmi in actuality when shiva's female force is parvati in actuality what is happening is is that for every male force there is a counter female force and when this male and female force get together procreation occurs now when creation took place brahma vishnu mahesh also are personified as the three main creative forces from the main creation similar to brahma vishnu mahesh in various other parts of the world in various other cultures they would be called with different names and within their families took birth males and females with metaphysical powers and those saintly men 
and women who got married got direct incarnation births in their family of the goddess and that's the reason how so many forms of goddesses occurred when we do the navratri prayer the navratri prayer the navratri prayer describes of the main nine forms of the goddess those nine forms are the basic broad characteristics the goddess is a is necessarily a force personified into various female forms and characters a female form and character which can give birth a female form and character which can give vidya so we have saraswati a female form and character which can lead to destruction so we have ma kali the female form and force which can, which is a sustainer we have mata lakshmi so various forms of the mother which is personified as a personified energy force has been classified into various classifications with various characters and we call that the devi therefore when we talk about dash vidya when we talk about the nine forms of the goddess the tenth form is the adi shakti form those are the main characters and from that sub characters occur and when those sub characters occur people feel that oh this is a different goddess oh this is a different goddess goddess is necessarily one this is what the goddess means now if you see the womb of the goddess any womb is again elliptic oval i come back to the same thing the solar system the orbits are oval and elliptic this female force is existing is all pervading and after the force of vaigru akal prak after the force of the infinite after the force of the almighty we have this in we have this force of creation which we call as adi shakti and this force we call and personify it as devi this explanation which i have given to you in english can be found in the vedas in sanskrit in various ways the guru granth sahib also has expressed it and please forgive me my islamic brothers even the islam recognizes the female force once one of my people had gone to the balochistan temple at hinglaj at hinglaj temple there is a form of the devi when sati had sacrificed herself and when shiva was taking her body and vishnu had cut the body into 52 pieces the head of sati had fallen in las bela in balochistan and there we have the hinglaj temple even muslims go there and they call it anika mandir so it is not true that Islam does not recognize female force. Islam says that God is infinite, God is God is invisible. But God's forces are there which Islam admits. Islam is against idol worship, but it doesn't mean that the forces which are existing can't be classified into male and female. Similarly, Sri Guru Gobind Singh ji in the Sikhism wrote the dasam granth in which there is a chapter known as chandi kiwar in which guru gobind singh ji describes various forms of the almighty into female energies the kali then the rakt bij form where she sucks the blood of rakt bij rakshas then the mahishasur mardani form all these forms are described and admitted by guru gobind singh ji also however guru gobind singh ji does not say that akal purak should be replaced by the devi even i do not say that akal purak and the god should be replaced by the devi but i want to just express that the female force and the energy which is there has taken various forms and it exists in the form of the devi the devi has one other point feature she is also known as the mahamaya mahamaya because she is creation she is that aspect of the almighty which leads to creation and which can lead to any imaginary forms also because she is the creator that form is the creator and that's the reason why we have various forms and that's the reason why the devi can take form like christ can take form 
like Anuman ji can take form, like some other Devi Devtas can take form and Kapiya Devi takes form. And that's the reason why she is known as Mahamaya. This is a short explanation which I have provided to everybody today about what the Devi is, about how the Shakti Peets have occurred and the theory of Shakti Peets. I will, I will be delighted to share with all my viewers in the future courses and the future of uh, the future episodes which I propose to make. Satsrikal Jai Matata.